hello my dear students welcome back to my channel so today i am going to show you how will be your marks allotted in your maths exam okay so this this is your question paper of march 2024 so these are the principles of valuation you can use any method okay so any logical method is valid here so here final answer is not the criteria okay you have to do the whole problem marks should be awarded according to the logical sequential steps okay so the steps should be in a sequence manner okay then only you will get the full marks okay now section 1 part a for expressing this uh, 360 as the product of prime factors if you are doing here prime factorization okay 2 cube into 3 square into 5 if you are writing directly the answer you will not get the mass you have to do the whole problem second one for finding the ratios of coefficient in the given equation this for this for finding the ratios you will get one mark for concluding the given equations are con inconsistent we approve if you are proving it as inconsistent you will get one mark for that like this you will get two marks for this problem okay third one for third question the given data is insufficient so those who have att attempted this they will get the two marks for this okay fourth one is for finding angle oac and angle aoc okay so if you are finding these two these two angles then you will get one mark okay then if you are finding angle aco then you will get one mark like this you will get two marks for this you can see in the solution okay how to find it. then next one fifth one for converting sin theta in terms of secant theta if you are converting sin theta into secant theta for this you will get one mark again if you are converting secant theta to tan theta for this you will get one mark like this you will get two marks okay if you will do the half problem you will get the one mark like if you if, if you have done sin theta to secant theta you will get one mark okay for writing suitable quadratic equation for making the quadratic equation by using the roots 3 and 2 for this you will get one marks like this for this problem again you will get two marks okay next to section 2 seventh one for writing the formula of mod you will get two marks okay for for explaining each term you will get two marks for this like this you will get four marks for this so mean median and mode these three are very important one definitely you will get in your exam for four marks so please practice this formula and try to elaborate it okay you have to explain all the terms in this okay if you will explain the terms for for explaining the terms you will get two marks simply if you are writing the formula if you are not explaining the terms again you will get two marks for that okay so like this you will get four marks easily you will get four marks for this okay so this question is compulsory you will get this question okay so try to be perfect in these formula mode median mean okay for for adding the given fractions of lhs you will get one mark for expansion and simplification if you are expanding it again you are simplifying it you will get two marks for this for proving lhs is equals to rhs if you have done if you have prove it then for that you will get one mark okay only if you are adding you will get one mark only if you are simplifying it expanding it you will get two marks okay for proving it again you will get one mark like this you will get four mark for this question now ninth question so one mark for each okay one mark for each if you are doing x union y okay if you are doing x union y for that you will get one mark if you are doing x intersection y you will get one mark for that if you are doing x minus y again one mark for that y minus x again one mark for that so award marks for students even if they write the elements of the sets also if you will write the elements which is you use in the lower case letters if you will write the elements also you will get the marks then 10th one okay 10th one for writing fourth and eighth term of the ap you will get one half marks for showing a plus 11d is equals to 0 for this also you will get one half marks if you are proving a 12 is equals to 0 then you will get one mark for this like this you will get four mark for this okay then next one 11th one for finding the probability of getting a red ball you can see in the solution okay if you are doing p okay p of getting a red ball then you will get two mark and then if you are doing pe of uh, not getting a red ball for that you will get two mark like this you will get four marks for this problem okay then next one 12th one for writing suitable equations based on the given data okay by seeing the given data if you are writing the suitable equation for this you will get two marks okay for finding the value of x and y if you are finding the value of x and y okay for this you will get two marks like this for this problem you will get four mark okay so if you are getting the uh, getting probability problem like this the marks will be allotted okay if you are doing one first one if you are not doing second one for first one you will get two marks like that 
section 3 so in section 3 13th one is for writing contradictory statement to the given statement okay so first we'll write the contradictory statement it is not any rational number like this supposing we are doing okay for this you will get one mark okay for selecting the procedure now for extending the problem okay for extending the problem and selecting the procedure for that you will get one one half marks okay for making the argument to disprove the supposition okay last at last what you will say in this problem an irrational number can't be equal to the rational number so our contradiction is false like that we will say no okay so different uh, students will do this problem in different methods for this you will get one mark whatever method you are doing your answer it uh, last last may you have to say that our contradiction is wrong our supposition is wrong whatever you are saying for that you will get one mark so these type of problems are very very important okay so you are having many problem of these roots okay this root problems of this first chapter is very important definitely one problem you will get in the exam so practice all the problem of this all the problems okay so next one 14th one for showing calculation and finding the values of y okay for showing the calculation like this in the table and getting the value of y you will get two marks for this for finding the points of the given polynomial okay for finding the points again you will get one mark for plotting the points on the graph sheet okay if you are plotting the points on the graph for graph sheet you will get one mark for that for joining the points and drawing a parabola for making a parabola on the graph you will get one mark for finding the zeros from the graph again you will get one mark for this okay like this you will get six marks for this okay so this table is very important you have to make this table and the graph is also very important okay so this is parabola so you have to write the scale also on this on x axis and y axis how much units you are taking on one set uh, on y axis y axis and x axis 15th problem for finding the mid values of class interval okay so here mean median mode three are very important one definitely you will get okay in six marks so you have to make a table you know you all know this so for finding the mid value okay for this you will get one mark for finding uh, fi xi you will get one mark for finding the values of sigma fi xi and sigma fi you will get one mark for writing the formula of mean again you will get one mark and for substituting and simplification and finding the value of mean you will get two mark like this you will get six mark for this for this problem okay next to 16th one for drawing the rough diagram okay for drawing the rough diagram you will get one mark for this for constructing a triangle with a given scale you will get three marks for this for writing the steps you will get two marks for this okay so steps you can write on your own like this you will get six marks for this okay rough diagram is also very important okay 17th one okay for this finding the midpoint of ac first you have to find out the midpoint of ac for this you will get one mark midpoint of bd for this you will get one mark for finding the fourth vertex d okay of the given parallelogram for this you will get one mark for finding the area of triangle for writing the formula of area of triangle okay first write the formula formula is very important for this you will get one mark for substitution and finding the area of triangle again you will get one mark for finding the area of the parallelogram again you will get one mark okay so like this you have to find out this 18th one for finding csa of cylinder okay for finding the csa of cylinder you will get one half marks for finding the slant height of the cone you will get one mark okay for finding csa of cone okay cone you have to do cylinder both for cylinder you will get one half marks for cone also you will get one half marks for finding the total area of cloth required for making one tent you will get one for mark. finding the total cost of 1500 okay. tents you will get one mark for this like this your marks will be allotted okay so best of luck for your exam prepare well for your exam thank you